Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. My name is Celia and today I am presenting an example of how to build um, a filter, a dynamic filter with VBA. And what I mean by that, um, I will explain that with this specific example. So I have this table, uh, which is an inventory table for a certain company where every product item is listed here. And each product has a number, uh, ID number, and uh, also has a status, uh, depending on the situation of that specific product. In this other um, sheet, I have a description of what uh, each status means. Uh, so, for example, ordered means the product has been ordered but has not arrived yet, uh, or it can be out on rent, um, or it can be in stock um, and stored in different areas. Uh, the challenge is that I want to um, filter this table by, for example, um, give me all the products that are under stock, that are considered under stock. The additional challenge is that is that I would like uh, to send this um, file to the company and let them add new status uh, when they need and also decide if that new status will be caught up by that, uh, that button that we will be building. Okay, so let's see how um, we could uh, solve this situation. Um, in first place, I would like to transform this in an Excel, um, Excel table. So we click anywhere and we go to insert table. Uh, this aut automatically selects uh, all my data and I can confirm it's selecting correctly. It is and it's very important to select my table has headers there. Okay, when it creates the table, uh, I want to pay attention to the name of the table because I'll be using the name of the table later on my VBA code. So in this case, I'll, t I'll call this table table underscore um, all products. Enter. I can uh, check this out uh, so that we don't have those um, highlighted rows. And in here, I'm going to do the same thing. Insert table, same thing. My table has headers. And uh, for this table, I'm going to give it the name status, table underscore status. OK, also going to take this. So now what I'll do is I'll um, do what I want what I need and I'll record the code, I'll record the macro. So we go here to the macro recorder, uh, macro one is fine for now. Okay. And what we want is to select, go come to this table and to the status column and pick the status we want. Uh, so let's say I want to include rent uh, on as a, as a, product considered in stock, stock A, stock B, stock C, and that's it. Okay, so we could click OK and immediately the table gets filtered as we asked. So we're going to st stop the recorder and now uh, Alt F11 to have the VBA editor I'm going to uh, bring Excel over here. We don't need that there. And have the editor here. OK. So let's see what we recorded. In fact, I have another module here because I, have, I was testing the file before. Here we have select. Uh, we don't need this. We need to uh, refer to the table we want to filter. And then just follow this code that uh, is the correct sequence to have. And notice that uh, the set of conditions, the criteria we want, is represented here by an array. We don't need that either. 
So we could build a button with this that would always work uh, if we want the button to filter all the items with rent, stock A, stock B, stock C status. But what I want is to give the chance for the company uh, people to uh, be able to come here and say, well, we have a new area, let's say stock D, and uh, we want that to be also filtered. Apparently, there was, if you come here and clear, uh, we can also sort, and that there was uh, no product under uh, with stock D, so we didn't even think of that when we um, filtered. Okay, so how can we go about this? Uh, this is one of the options we have. I'll uh, create a new column here that I will call button stock. And in this column, I'm going to put an X anywhere uh, in every line that I want uh, that status to be caught by that button. So I want the button to uh, filter anything with rent status, stock A, stock B, stock C, stock D. I'm going to center. Okay, and now let's rebuild our code. I already have uh, the macro built here. I'm going to paste it and then I'm going to explain what I am doing here. Okay, so let's see what the macro has. Um, we have turn off the uh, screen updating feature. Okay, so that we don't have the, don't see the, the, the screen flashing, although in this case uh, it wouldn't matter much. Uh, and then we say, this with this workbook, worksheets data, this sheet here, let's do the following. Clear filters. The first thing we could do is to uh, clear any filters that might be applied to the data. Um, we activate the sheet and then we say, list objects, table all products, that table here that we uh, created previously, we named it, uh, remember? So we can refer to the entire table by, the, by its name, and if the table grows, all the range will be always considered. That's one of the advantages of uh, using tables. And then uh, these, in fact, could, be, could come here like that. With that table, sort, sort fields, clear. And then with that same table, auto filter, show all data. Okay, so that this is, these are pieces of codes that you can also find about uh, by recording or um, searching online. And it's very important to uh, notice that a table is considered um, a list object. Okay, uh, then let's see what we want. We want to create our criteria. So that part here we want to create a, a list like this. It might seem that this is a string, but it's not a string. We can uh, build, so what I'll do is I'll create this first as a string, and then I'll transform this to an array, uh, meaning that each piece of the string separated by a comma is one of the items of the array. So I'll start with criteria status list as an empty string, and it's here defined as a string. And then I'll go and say for each cell, and notice cell, I defined it as a range. In range, which range? The range in table status, button, stock. And what it means is the table status that we previously created and then the column but button stock how do I know that this is the correct way to um, to refer to that column? Well, you can come here and try pretend to create a, a name range. So under formulas, I'll just under formulas name manager. If I wanted to create a name uh, a range for 
this column I would go new and then here I would say I want this to refer to this column and notice what it wrote here this is the way Excel is referring to a column within a table so we could copy just this control C do cancel because we don't need to define this name uh, another name for this column close and then coming back to our editor we would paste this here okay so what I'll do what I'll say is uh, well go to that range that column and for each one of the cells if there is an X there small case or uppercase uh, in case uh, the user uh, types in one of the ways and uh, then I'll say well um, if our criteria stat status list is still empty case empty empty string then our criteria status list will be what is in that cell offset by zero rows and two columns to the left so whatever is in here I'll go two columns to the left one two and I'll get what's in there value uh, then we go to the next cell and when we get to another X I'll say well bring this new status here and together with what we have before so in case our criteria status list is not an empty cell an empty string or anymore because uh, let's say we are here we already have rent in that string then what we'll do is that criteria status list will become what we had before ampersand comma ampersand comma space here and then get what is two columns to the left of that X and get the value and so by running this we will be building that string uh, I also added this piece here that uh, in case no X is put here in the, in the entire column at the end we will have cr a criteria status list empty and then when we ask the data to be filtered nothing will be, fit be filtered so we will say no status is defined to be filtered with stop with the stop button please review settings on lists sheet and exit the macro uh, one will stop okay so now uh, let's see let's see and stop put a stop here and run this part of the macro I'll go F8 so criteria status list is empty as you see when we over the mouse on top of that and this is going through this um, column the first one was empty there was no X so it jumped second one has an X and criteria status list is empty so criteria status list becomes rent okay again there's an empty cell another empty cell and then the next one will be stock A so now our uh, criteria status list is not an empty string so it goes here it's rent and after we execute this step it will become rent comma stock a and so on next will become become rent stock a stock b okay five by the time we uh, get here our criteria stock status list will be a string with all the status we marked with an S okay let's stop this and see what's next so now I'll transform this um, string into an array we will call that array ARY and uh, the code to do that is to say well get this string and split it by comma space this will give this give us this array okay now that we have our array then we can finally copy this part of the uh, code here all exactly the same 
except that this uh, string here, these elements will be replaced by our ary variable. Okay, that's what's in here. And then end with, then we turn our screen updating, turn it to true, and we end our um, macro. Okay, let's close this. And we can also create a button here. We will use this macro to be associated with this button. We will call it stock. And now let's click the button and see what happens. So I want all the uh, data, the, all the product items with rent, stock A, B, C, D to be filtered. And here we have. Um, if I come here and clear any filtering, um, let's say I add a new item here has stock D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, doesn't matter. We can use the very same dates, it doesn't matter, it's just an example. So now, if I run the macro again, stock D was uh, caught up there. And if at some point I decide, well, I want to consider any item with repair, repair shop status also to be included as a stock item. And also these items uh, with stock damaged status also to be considered uh, to be filtered with that button. So let's see if this now works. And let's to first clear our filter. We have a stock D, we have a repair shop item here. Okay, so let's say that this particular item and these three items now went to the repair shop. So we want them to be filtered by that button. So let's click the button. And we have rent, repair shop, stock A, stock B, repair shop, stock C, stock D. We had a repair shop there already. Okay, so this is working and uh, there might be other solutions. Uh, I thought this was interesting to have so that uh, it's kind of a back-end uh, access to the system that the user can have and um, give them some more flexibility and make them um, to let them use the macros the way they need. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you can think of other way to solve this uh, challenge, please let me know in the comments. I would really like to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Bye now.